Remember Me by Kathy J. Parento. If I were to leave this world today, I'd want to be remembered it's true, for going that extra mile just to show my love for you. I'd want for you to be proud of me and know I always tried. When you hurt, I did too. Your tears, I also cried. I'd want you to be compassionate, to never turn away from someone who might need a hug or encouragement one day. I'd want you to know I'm sorry if I ever caused you pain. I hope you learn from my mistakes and forgive me just the same. There are no second chances when God says it's time to go. We only have today to let our feelings show. Remember this when you say your prayers and count your blessings tonight and treasure every precious moment God gives you in this life. Remember me. Uh, Remember me by Kathy Parento. Um, this poem is uh, very meaningful to me because it reminds me of my aunt. Yeah, my aunt was a great woman. Uh, she became close to me uh, through my father and my mother. Uh, before I was born, my mother and my father moved to Los Angeles for my, uh, my father's job. And uh, so I had no family out there except for my aunt and my uncle John also lived in LA. Uh, so over time, with my parents being there and my, aunt and my uncle being there and them being there, you know, basically by themselves, they grew really close. Uh, they spent weekends together. Um, they went to, you know, they went out at night together. Uh, they went to the same gym, they went to the same golf course, did you know, everything together. They were the best of friends. Yeah, um, so through this, it, it's my parents obviously came very close to my aunt. And even through my parents' divorce, both of them stayed close with my aunt. So naturally, being my parents' son, I came close to my aunt and saw her all the time. I even played golf with her when I visited her. She lived in uh, South Carolina. Uh, we played golf together. We used to go to brunches together. Um, so I love my aunt. Uh, so my aunt lived in Hilton Head uh, in South Carolina. Um, she lived there because, you know, it's nice and summery. And I guess warm. She enjoyed the warm weather in the Gulf. Uh, but she was, um, you know, terminally ill with Alzheimer's, and uh, so she'd been hospice for about eight months. Uh, the time she died, um, but when in the, you know me and my family found out, she had about two, three days left. Uh, my entire family was in Italy for my uh, grandparents' anniversary, except for me and my father. We were in the United States. I had a hockey showcase uh, the day before. So when we got the phone call from the hospice center that my aunt was gonna die in two or three days, uh, and the fact that me and my dad and my mom were all so close to my aunt, me and my dad flew down to Hilton Head, uh, so she didn't die alone in the last few, you know, last few days here on Earth. And um, so while there in the hospice center, um, my dad stepped out for a minute. I don't know why, but I filled in his seat next to my aunt and started to. Uh, she couldn't talk, but just started to um, like hold her hand, and I made eye contact with her, and uh, and she, you know, she knew she was gonna die. She, I mean, she knew. You always know. And uh, making eye contact with dying eyes is, uh, it's you can't describe it. It's it's scary, and it's uh, you know, uh, no words. Um, but immediately after that. Uh, my dad came back and I went and sat back in the chair I'd been in before and I saw a poem on the table and it was Remember Me by Kathy Parento and I read it and I asked my dad and I read it aloud to my aunt and uh, my aunt smiled after I read it and um, so the poem's always kind of stuck with me. Uh, after I read it to her she smiled and I think she smiled in part because as I was reading it to her she reflected upon her own life and she also realized that she was going to be remembered, not only by my dad, and by my mom, but by me, and by everyone, our whole family. And, you know, in the last, in the last days of your life, to, to know you're going to be remembered is, I imagine, comforting. And you know, I've never experienced it myself, but I feel like, you know, that'd be something pretty important to know that you're going to be remembered. And I think she also smiled because after I read it to her, and while I was reading it to her, she sort of reflected upon her whole life, uh, all she'd done, all of her accomplishments, all of her achievements, and I think she was proud of herself for, you know, everything, knowing that she lived a good life, and she was 95 years old, and what she'd done is impressive, and I think she was proud of herself. So, analogous with uh, the poem, 
and the message the poem brings in similar what my aunt did. Uh, although I'm young myself and don't think about you know my personal death very often or, or at all, um, thinking about it uh, you know now, I like to live my life completely in full and have no regrets and uh, you know, live a life that I'm proud of myself was like my aunt was proud of herself. Um, so when I'm on my deathbed, I'd like to close my eyes, uh, you know, think back and reflect on everything I've done, and be proud and wait for God to take me.